One of the highlights of last week was the announcement of a new Pokemon Presents which will air tomorrow. In recent years, August has typically been a Presents month, coinciding with the annual Pokemon World Championships. And this year, we were lucky enough to get an early confirmation of the Presents a full four days in advance. Because my main interest is over on the video game side of things, I won't take us through predictions for the entire presentation like I usually would for a Nintendo Direct. Instead, I'll be going through a couple bullet points of things I think we could see tomorrow, and my feelings about each one of them. For example, I have a strong feeling we'll be headed to a certain region in the next game, but we'll talk about that in a bit. First, I want to mention what's probably the most obvious announcement we'll get tomorrow. This is the presents we'll finally get a solid release date for part one of the Scarlet and Violet DLC, The Teal Mask. Fall begins next month. So unless it's getting delayed, we're way too close to the DLC actually coming out for us to not know the release date. I think we'll be given DLC information early on in the presents, along with a new trailer showing off gameplay in some of the new areas. We'll also see several Pokemon that were previously unattainable in Scarlet and Violet making a return in the Teal Mask. And finally, if we're lucky, we might also see a small bit of Part 2, the Indigo Disc, along with hopefully a release date, since that's not too far behind, set to arrive this winter. But the most exciting prospect for this presents is the chance to see some brand new, previously unannounced Pokemon games. Especially when you go back two years ago to the legendary August 2021 presents, which gave us reveals for Pokemon Legends Arceus and Generation 4 remakes, speculation is now heating up about where the series is going to go next. With the DLC being the only mainline Pokemon content we currently know about, it's not out of the question that we get at least one brand new game announcement, similar to what we got in 2021. In the 2021 Presents, we were treated to the reveal of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl early on in the show, with those games slated to arrive later that year. So it's not impossible that in this year's August Presents, we could get a new title or set of titles releasing this holiday to stand alongside Mario Wonder. But with the Indigo Disc coming out in the winter, and not to mention Detective Pikachu Returns in the fall, this might be wishful thinking. What's more likely for this presents is the reveal and announcement of a big new Pokemon title coming to Switch next year in 2024. Of course, we could very excitingly see Generation 5 remakes, confirming our inevitable return to Unova. With us being only two years removed from Gen 4 remakes, it it does seem a little soon, but anything is possible, especially if the Pokemon company enlists a little bit of extra help. A simple touch-up of base black and white with some development assistance from a third-party studio could make for a quick turnaround of Generation 5 remakes. While the ultimate dream is that TPCI partners with Square Enix to give us some real HD 2D remakes of Gen 5, Ilka, the team who handled BDSP, did a great job in my opinion, and I think they'd be a fine choice to tackle Unova next. But of course, we could also get the announcement of these remakes being handled in-house by Game Freak 2. It's really anyone's guess right now. For me, the dream is an HD 2D Unova game that's an extended cut, featuring plot points from Black and White 1 and 2 done by Game Freak in conjunction with Square Enix. Maybe that's a little bit out there, but hey, I can dream. And while this would be great, in reality, I think we'll see even better, and this means not seeing Generation 5 remakes at all. Well, at least not in the traditional sense. My actual prediction for new Pokemon software is that, for the final announcement of this presents, we'll get the reveal of the second game in what will now be known as the Pokemon Legends series. This game will be titled Pokemon Legends The Original Dragon, set in the distant past and focusing on the Unova Tau Trio. We'll only get the logo and some concept art to chew on, and the game will be given a 2024 release window on Nintendo Switch. This way, we'll know what's coming, but we won't actually see it until next Pokemon Day. Next, I want to touch on the possibility of classic Pokemon games coming to Nintendo Switch Online, now that the infrastructure for Game Boy and Game Boy Advance is already there. This is something I really leaned on heavily during my Pokemon Day predictions last February. By that point, Game Boy and GBA on Switch was a known quantity, and re-releasing classic games is the perfect way to celebrate the series history on a day that's meant to celebrate the franchise. And this right here is exactly why I don't think we'll see it tomorrow. 
Of course, I hope I'm wrong, and I think we'll see the classic games on Switch eventually, but I just don't think it'll be tomorrow. Re-releasing the classics just seems like a Pokemon Day announcement. A commemorative one, and one that you don't just get in a normal presents. Obviously, there's no rule to this being only a Pokemon Day thing, but I just think between the Scarlet and Violet DLC and potentially a look at the future of the series, whether that be a Gen 5 remake or a new Legends game, maybe something new entirely, there's already plenty to get excited about for this presents. Plus, if they're announced, classic games finally coming to Switch would likely be a same-day announcement and release. At the very least, it will be a quick turnaround. The NSO games usually are. But between Zelda and Pikmin already here, and a pretty packed slate for Nintendo the rest of the year, I think classic Game Boy re-releases can wait until next February, when we have the time and space to celebrate the history of this amazing franchise properly. Something we could see though is the release date for the Pokemon trading card game Game Boy game on NSO. It's officially revealed to be coming to the service, we just don't know when. With a major spotlight soon to be on the trading card game with the upcoming World Championships, it does sort of make sense to commemorate it with this beloved game releasing on NSO this week. I do think we'll see the original Pokemon TCG game given a release date or shadow drop during this presents. And hey, if they wanted to localize the Japan-only sequel and release it for us, I'd certainly have no complaints. I think I'd drop everything I'm playing at the moment just to run through that in English. But what do you think? What will we see at tomorrow's Pokemon Presents? I know it's so soon since Arceus only came out last year, but I loved it so much I'm really hoping for a confirmation of a new Legends game. And I really feel that the time traveling and the choice to include Ingo as a major character, it was all a build up to a Unova Legends game. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I'm still very happy that we'll hopefully be getting more info on the Scarlet and Violet DLC. And fingers crossed we'll be setting foot in the Teal Mask very soon. Enjoy the presents tomorrow everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.